Is that a bulletproof vest? He pulled up to the storage unit while we were inside, and man, was I mad. Wait until you see this. Back outside of the $660 police officer unit, this unit has had everything. Big money in silver coins, big money in vintage video games, big money in collectibles, big money in weapons, literally anything you can ask for. Let's go uncover more. We finished the last part of this storage unit with a grand total value of $5,730. So that's where we're gonna start here. The links to the other videos are in the description. So it looks like our boxes for some reason fell down since we were here last. So let's just start getting some of these out of here. This one feels awkwardly light and see what's inside of them. I feel like this one's gonna be something fluffy like a stuffed animal or blankets or pillows or something like that. Let's see if that's the case. It looks like stuffed animals. What is that? Easter Bunny, Spider-Man thing. Is it stuffed animals all the way down? It looks like that's exactly what it is. So let's seal it back up. This one that also fell has the same name on it. So ugh. this one's a lot heavier. This one's definitely not plushy stuff. So oh, that's an improvement. Look how much tape is on this one. Let me pull out my knife that I brought. Just kidding. It's a key because I forget knives every time. I think let's I have see. one in my bag this time. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So after this clip, we're going to use that for now. This is obnoxious. Well, I see something written laundry and computer area. Well, hopefully that means computer stuff. Yeah. Oh, I see gaming. I see gaming. But I can't get into it. We're going to need the knife. Not much of a fight when you got a blade. The box seems to give in quickly. But let's see. This is what I saw first. Was the Mega Man air freshener. So I assumed it would be gaming right off the bat. Ooh, look. Alien action figures they look like they're really old don't they yeah did have a date on it not that i'm seeing it's funko it's funko okay so that probably means it's not too old but it could be really early funko stuff which could be really valuable let's whoa let's pull this out really quick look at what i see look at this deck of magic cards these are Ooh, these are the 90s ones. The very first single card on top of this stack was selling for $9 on its own. So that lets me know it's probably gonna be a pretty valuable stack. So there's one, I think it's called the Black Locust. Correct me if I'm wrong, people that's worth a crap ton of cash, like thousands. That card can sell for several thousand dollars on its own ungraded if it's graded a lot more than that. And if you find the entire deck it came in, well, let's just say it can sell for five figures. So that's kind of just what I'm skimming through here. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. To see if I see the black locust really quick. These are all 90s though. So guaranteed some of these are worth good money, 100,000%. But we'll definitely look into them more. PlayStation 2 controller. Oh, there's a bunch of cards in there. <gasps> Pokemon white version, please. Oh, that's all right. Maybe we'll find the DS. Sunglasses. Look at all these Magic the Gathering cards right here. Come on. Where's Black Locust? That's all I want to see. It's just a few thousand dollar card. But every single one of these, what I'm more blown away is that every single one of these are from the 90s and they're in super good shape. You could tell they've been in storage forever. So I guarantee you these are big money right there. Guarantee it. This is Scarf. Ooh, what's in here? National Recognition Products. <laughs> Empty. Little helicopter, a turtle. Holy crap, look how many cards are down there. The old Yu-Gi-Oh trading card thing. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can find some old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So with Yu-Gi-Oh, the ones I'm looking for is like a Blue Eyes, White Dragon, um, Exodia, which is a monster that came in a bunch of different pieces. The old God card. Oh my gosh, Dark Hole. I used to play this game. This is one of the few card games I actually used to play a lot when I was young. So I kind of know which ones are these a little bit better. I never touched magic in my life. So let's just keep flipping through some of these. Oh, there's a hollow right there. I'm not seeing any of the super rare ones, but that's okay. That doesn't mean they're not in there. Look how many more cards we have. There's tons and tons of Yu-Gi-Oh cards from the 90s in there. Little thing, little Funko guy. I think I dropped the card, yeah I did. All right, so we're just gonna leave that be for now on. There's a lot in here, including a wide rule, just empty book. Ooh, look at this. A Batman Q-Pop? What's a Q-Pop? Maybe it's from early Funko stuff. There's a Funko Pop. This one is Dr. Emmett Brown. Unfortunately, he's a little crushed though, but he could have some value. 
Just a quick little lesson on Funko Pops. Always check them out. This one we just found valued at $16. One that looks almost identical of the same character valued at over $1,000. Always use the Funko Pop app and always make sure you don't have a rare one because they could be expensive. This is, whoa. That's the, that's the gun we found right there. This is the box to it. This is the box to the freaking gun, but it's got weight in it. I know the gun's not in there because we found it. So there's the stock, there it is. So we have the whole thing now. Cool, that's awesome. Let's set it right there. Um, This is just paperwork. There's another Funko. <gasps> I see Nintendo games, like NES games. We've been looking for that. So here's some more Funkos. And so this looks like it's from the game Borderlands. All right, what is that? A smashed railroad spike? Doesn't it look like it? Yeah. All right, what's in the folder? Autograph something? No, that's a certificate. We'll make sure they get that back. I see Star Wars too. Look at this big thing right here. Let me try to pull it out. Whoa. No, 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 no. So look at this. A giant, what is that? Star Wars Old Republic Collector's Edition. And whatever's in there, I tell you, the weight is heavy. So this is definitely not empty. I think whatever's in there is in there. Let's take a look. Oh, the Darth Maul statue, 100%. There's the picture, I could tell you just by the weight, that's there. So no telling what this is worth. I'm gonna set it right here so we can get it back together before we put it away. Man, first one off the bat. Oh look, so we got Pinbot on the NES, and they even put the manual in the back, so that's a good thing. Pinbot, oh. Well look at that, Super Mario Brothers 2 in the box. That's something you don't see often. You find the Mario games a lot, but not in the box. That's pretty cool. Complete in box like this one is. That game is selling for well over $100. Let's see what this one is. Oh, look. Mrs. Pac-Man. Classic. And then we got Fighting Golf. And then we have two here. Side Pocket and Blades of Steel. Each of those are selling for about $35 to $40 complete in box as well. Man, this is a cool unit, I swear. Everything about this unit has been awesome so far this is just what the heck is that i don't even know what just came out pieces i don't even know if this is a leprechaun thing yeah pokemon white version 2 you think that one's in there mm -hmm. this one feels a little heavier hey. Hey. Oh. oh final fantasy final fantasy i guess we'll take that i'm waiting to find the actual ds now it's got to be in here these are just some random cds set them there what is this is this actually glasses that's the question it's nothing fair enough all right, let's see. You want a turtle? Nah. Uh, what about, what is that? What kind of thing is this? Is this like a display, I think, of a Nintendo game? I was about to say, it looks like a Game Boy size, but it looks like a Nintendo game. There's a bunch. Look, if I tilt this, there's a lot more Magic the Gathering cards that are just all over the bottom of this box we're gonna have to go through. What is this right here? Colibri? Is it jewelry? 39 bucks is what they paid for it. It is nothing again. Okay, there's a bunch more NES games over here in the left corner. You see these? Let me pull these out for a second and we'll see what games we got here. The classic Mario Duck Hunt combo. Donkey Kong for Nintendo. Super Mario Brothers 3 for Nintendo. And Skate or Die. At least I like that they kept these little cases to keep all the cartridges in too. So it keeps them safe from dust. More, is that the console? Is that the oh, it's the stick. It's the thingy, but there's the gun for Duck Hunt as well. That's down at the bottom. You, if you're a real gamer, you recognize that thing anywhere. Uh, I'm not seeing the actual console though, but there's a lot more boxes and there's a lot of magic cards in here. And I bet you again, these are all 90s. There's a good chance we can have a really, really valuable card in this box. How is that for starting out this unit today? Every single day we've been here, it's been insane. Let's keep going. Let's go on to the next box here. This one's not really a box. It's more of like one of those store totes, I guess you call them. Let's see what's inside this guy. By the way, you should leave the video a thumbs up right now. How's that for a great start, man? That's money already. Let's go to another good one. What is that? What I think it is. Is that a bulletproof vest? Get out of here. That's a bulletproof vest, isn't it? I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what that is. Holy crap. 
Ooh, it's not punch proof, but it's bulletproof, I think. So from what I can find, most bulletproof vests were going for between a hundred and several hundred dollars. This one had a brand name on it called Guardian Technologies that I couldn't find nothing about. So if anyone knows anything, please let me know down in the comments. Ow, I don't know what that goes for. What is this right here? Eh, a grilling set, cool. This is an unmarked box. Those are fun. And inside is, oh, it's a brand new knife set. You can see the wood block that holds all the blades in there and a brand new knife. I guess, you know, I keep my bulletproof vest with my kitchen stuff too, it makes sense. You don't want to accidentally get shot while you're grilling. Uh, compressed dressing. What are these? Instant ice, I guess, medical stuff. A mallet, a hammer, that thing. And this rest of it looks like tools. So I guess let's make a box, tools, kitchen grilling bulletproof vest because I don't know why. Let me remind you last time we cleared out this unit we found a box that had a thousand dollars in vintage Game Boy games and it had that name that's on that black and yellow tilt down there on it so that's one of the most exciting things of the unit right now for me to get to but for now let's take this blue tote out of here it's really ooh it says Pyrex you think it's gonna be vintage? Is it heavy? It's definitely heavy that's definitely what it feels like it feels like dishes looks like dishes but let's see if it's modern or vintage well a Pyrex baby, not. It says nothing but U-6079 on the bottom. That doesn't really help me too much. So let's set the baby here and set these glasses out of the way. Do they make Pyrex cups or is it only dishware? Because there's nothing written on these. I want to pull out one of the actual dishes and check it out. It's white, it's Pyrex, it's all capital. Somebody told me before, like, if it's all in capital letters or lowercase and makes a difference. So if somebody that knows Pyrex and Dishware can explain that to me exactly, I'd appreciate that. But it looks like there's a whole set of this white one. There's another one in the see-through one right here. So whole tote of Pyrex. Fingers crossed that it's vintage Pyrex. You think clear tote with white top or brown box? Um, clear tote. I know, I read that too and I was like, please don't <laughs> say that. Let's get this one oh, here and see what we got inside of it. I just want more gaming stuff, or weapons, either which way. I'll take either, but I like the gaming. Well, get out, dust. This is a, just a book, another book. This is paint, it looks like, a lot of paint and paint brushes. So this might be like the hobby box, because that looks like a kit car that you build up yourself. Uh, not sure what that looks like. More books, oops, more, paint here what else is in here i see a lot of folders I always check folders because people keep cards that are in sleeves and stuff like that in there so I always look in there more books what is this here that's empty is what that is a lot of bags and I'm not seeing too much else down here really it looks like a lot of this one's really random i do want to see what's in this in a second there's a patriot glove Let's look on the other side. It looks like just clothes and books mix in here. Uh, yeah, not much else on this side besides a metal. We'll make sure they get it back. But what's in the black box? It does got me look a little curious. Make sure it's not a picture. Uh, it's got their picture on it. So I'm gonna guess these are some type of school pictures. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. So again, we'll make sure they get that back. Let's just get this box out the way and see what's in there. It says dish pack and stuff on it. it. Doesn't sound really exciting, but you know, we gotta make sure that's what it really is. Uh, it looks like, yeah, you know what? We're gonna take this home because to me, this is shipping stuff. There's a moving blanket at the bottom, a bunch of moving blankets actually, and a bunch of packing material. So instead of dish stuff, that's shipping stuff. At least it's out the way. Let's keep going. Got another clear toe here. It looks like something inflatable inside this one. Let's figure out what it is exactly. Well, that looks like nothing. This looks like maybe, is this what they make you wear at the NASCAR races because it's probably super loud? If I had to take my gas and never been to one? Yes. So there's two of those and for some reason a walkie talkie thing? I think they listen to like the pit crews and stuff. Okay, I'm guessing this is probably another pair of earphones. Yeah, just another pair of earphones. So we already know these guys were huge in the NASCAR. They have the biggest collection I've ever found. This whole coat is just stuff they bring to the NASCAR. Why are you bringing these? You can't see the giant racetrack? 
Maybe, uh, uh, again, maybe they want to see the, the middle circle of pit people. I guess. So, yeah, I guess exactly what you said. This looks like just a tote of the stuff they needed to attend the races in person. There's two of these, like, blue-green type totes, so we're going to go through them, and then we're going to start working our way to the big black and yellow tote I really want to get to. Oh, is this closed? Oh, no, this bag is full of who knows what. Uh-oh. I see in here a bunch more of these sewing patterns, so there might be a whole bag full of them or something similar. Let's see, blankets, blankets. It's just a bag full of sewing fabric like this, I guess they use to sew, and blankets. So let's just put this back inside and go to the next one. Here's the second one. Let's see if this one's any better than the last one. Come on, give me good stuff. Is that just clothes? Uh, just an orange hat. This looks like Kenny's hood or something. <laughs> or Kyle's hat in Kenny's color, yeah. if you're a South Park fan. This is just, I don't know what this is really. There's double D darts, um, some orange stuff. A lot of orange, maybe they're hunters too, based on all the gun stuff and camo we found. I can only assume they hunted as well. Uh, let's see, anything in the black bag? This isn't even a bag, it's just more clothes. So I'm gonna guess this is just hunting clothes. This says something in one of this, one of those things that are legally required to be in every abandoned storage unit. It says air bed, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels harder than that, so. Uh, but no, it doesn't look like they're lying. There's one air bed. There's one other bag that looks just like that. I'm gonna grab it just to see. Cause then I can almost get to my tote I wanna get to. Let's see if this is the same thing or not. This one feels more like it would be an air bed. That one didn't, but let's just double check it just to make sure. Uh, the one I said doesn't is, and the one I said does is not. US Marine Corps stuff. There's some military clothing in here. See all the camo? Stuff over here. Anything in the side? Oh yeah, there's, there's stuff in the front I forgot to check too. that one too. We gotta check that one as well. Nothing in there. Let's check the front pocket. Come on. Money, money. It is sandals gross this one paperwork oh look you yeah, i know what this is already it's a target so this is 100 percent. you guys are kind of bad none they got good grouping but it's just not in the middle so there's that glasses and what's the pin say there's a pin in there keep calm and call batman all right fair enough anything in these pockets no yes on this side let's see what that is Oh, the pop in the battery makes sense anything in the front feels like there is it is the pieces to the pump so not too exciting there last box until i can get to the tote i want to get to this one feels middleweight i honestly don't want to say what it feels like because it feels like the b word uh yeah it's the b word it's full of books is it full of books all the way down? No, I see some CO2 tanks in there, so there might be something else in here, but definitely a few CO2 tanks. I think they might have just been thrown in there because other than that, it is unfortunately books all the way down to the bottom. Let's get out the tote I've been waiting for. This is the tote I've been waiting for because that is the name that has the jackpot of video games right there. Let's see if we can repeat. Uh, looks like clothes, but I feel like there's more. Here's a wallet. It's way too heavy to be just closed. What's this wooden thing? What is that, like a fake sword? Not too sure. Oh, right. All right, there's another wall, a Transformers wallet. Anything in there? No. Let's see, is this really all the way down closed? It feels heavy. But it looks that way, doesn't it? On that side, at least. On the other side, come on, you're not supposed to have clothes. You're supposed to just have nothing but gaming stuff and you're, you're supposed to just be a gamer nonstop. But unfortunately, I guess gamers do have to wear clothes. So now we're gonna have to start working on this giant stack and working our way down to get into these totes. I guess towards the end, we'll see if there's anything wrapped up inside this shelf right here. So I guess let's get the bags off here and just see what's inside this one because it doesn't feel empty, that's for sure. Even though it's open. Ooh, I see military camo in there. Military stuff. Oh, it looks like it's a military bag there. You see that in the supposed place to hold everything? Anything else though? Not that I'm feeling. What about on the side? No, was there anything in here? No, just the buttons and stuff over here. No. Um, what about in the top? No. Feels like there's something in here. I swear I heard something move, but I guess I'm seeing or hearing things because I'm not seeing anything. Let's start pulling some of these. I guess jackets is what they look like off here. They might be more racing jackets because they found a lot 
the crown royal they're definitely a racing jacket so these were averaging like 80 to 100 some dollars last time i looked them up i don't know who's that supposed to be but that one let's pull down this just looked like a regular coat uh martin's brand coat this right here is that a willy wonka hat <laughs> looks like it, it looks like it doesn't it <laughs> this leather jacket is uh hill and archer if anyone knows what that is this one i'm gonna assume is something to do with military because of the green so maybe a military jacket it's gonna set them all up here and that one fell lovely the sun's making it very difficult to record right now we have a cooler Ooh. It doesn't seem empty. Let's see what's inside. Another, Another cooler. One. Nice. It's like suitcases. Is this one empty actually? Why won't it open? What? <gasps> There's just some NASCARs and some stick on levels, which is something I've never seen before. Welcome to my chocolate factory, guys. Let me show you what we got today. You know, I don't know what kind of diseases this thing has. I should probably <laughs> take it off. Let's see. We got this is like gold in the storage business. We always need trash bags, but unfortunately it's those cheap ones that you put like a half ounce shirt on and rips it. This is a nice little side table that definitely has a drawer. You can see it here. Let's put it down the right way and see what's inside of this drawer. Randomness, I see a jewelry box. See, you thought you could escape me. What do you think is in there? Ring. But no, I was supposed to be, so I guess I'd give you credit. Partial credit, you didn't show your work. Pictures. Another randomness and a golf ball and just, you know, a whole bunch of random whatnot. So now we can start pulling out these totes and seeing what's inside. The first tote of the stack has freaking got a lot of weight to it. Let's see. That was a loud one. Sorry. What's inside of it? It looks like blankets on the Spun top. Bum. I see spider. Actually, these are ties. You see that? Yep. I was about to say blankets. They're all ties. These look like blankets. That looks like blankets. And well, that's unfortunately all that's in that one. So this one's most likely gonna be a donate bin. Next one is, bum, 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 bum. And unfortunately more of the same. Blankets, blankets, blankets. Again, another donate one. Next one, can I have no more blankets? Oh my goodness. How many blankets does one household need? We gotta be on like 30 by now. Okay, these are, these look like hotel blankets to me, to be honest with you. Yeah, they do. They really, really do. So again, Donate pile. That's one of the pile, and I got a burning sensation inside of me that I know exactly what's in there. Blankets! What a shocker! Actually, no, is this blankets? This looks like Halloween costumes or something. Uh, oh yeah, it is. Halloween costumes instead, and Halloween decorations. Okay, at least it's a little bit different. There's some Easter stuff, there's some Mardi Gras stuff, a pimp hat, and yeah, some random Halloween decorations on that side. Let me check the other side and be sure if that's it. Oh, that almost went down. Easter tree. Yeah, this one's, there's a notorious scream mask that everybody in my age group was at least once for Halloween. But the good one was, we had the little thing you squeezed and made the blood come on the mask. That's when you know where the cool one was. What is this thingy exactly right here? I can't tell if this is like a work thing or like a police thing. Ah, uh, what do you think? like a work thing to yeah me. that's my guess too it looks like something you put your tools and stuff like that in let's pull out this box right here speaking of work stuff this looks like screws nails tape measure bolts things like that there's a bunch of little tins in here anything in this folder journal entry uh, look it says hello to whoever's reading this at the moment i am not going to say his name and you probably guessed since you now have my journal and i do not <laughs> i am dead what? I swear to God it says that. It says, I am the name, and as you probably guessed, since you now have my journal and I do not, I am dead. This is my personal journal with the record of the world plumbed into wasteland it is today. P.S. Feel free to add your own experiences as well. Hopefully I won't be the only one who writes in this, and also hopefully there will be people left alive to read this. Whoa. Post-apocalyptic person here. <laughs> bit too much fallout. Uh, yeah, bit too much. <laughs> let's see what's in here. Another container. These are all just empty containers. Empty, 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 empty. I'm guessing it's gonna have one of those in there. Shocker! One so, thing is for sure, they like Talenti ice cream. Yeah, they like Talenti ice cream, but this is just unfortunately garbage. Say hello to my little friend. I thought it was like a chainsaw, but I feel like it's more of like a weed cutter thing. What do you think? Maybe. I don't know anything like about these kind of whacker. tools. Yeah, I think it's more of a bushwhacker. <laughs> Let us know down in the comments, guys. You guys know more than I do about that kind of stuff. I may know the video game stuff, but that kind of stuff, 
Not so much. Uh -uh. Ooh, this tote's got some weight to it. Come on, more games. Whoa, this one looks like a lot of personal stuff. Oh my goodness. When's the last time you've seen a journal cover that looked like this? Man. Not me. I didn't go to Fairfax County. <sighs> well, I sure did. That's what I had when I was in school. Oh, there's, I was about to say, I had the blue one. There it is. This is the exact one I had when I went to school. That's so weird to see. So this is all personal stuff, school work, things like that. So again, this is going to go in the give back pile. What is this giant roll of paper exactly used for? for Any idea? Painting. You think so? Oh, is it like the put on the floor stuff for painting? I, I think so. That would be my guess. This is one of those chairs you take to the beach, but for them, they probably feel like they took it to races. <sighs> you hear that? If you ever watch South Park, if you ever watch South Park, there's an episode about that and describes my emotions to a T, to an exact T. But let's see what this is right here. And, and I would tell you more about it, but it would be a definite demonetization because there's a word used a lot, but that's another chair right there. Can I imagine how big this storage facility is? This dude pulls up right next to us, 10 feet away. And there's probably a thousand units here. Um, tool belt thingy. A Budweiser chair. I'm gonna assume this one was definitely used for NASCAR because there's alcohol on it. A snow shovel. You can't make this up, can you? <laughs> Not at all. You cannot make this kind of stuff up. It's just like <laughs> they see what you're doing and they're like, hmm, how could I ruin this? <laughs> I got an idea. Let's see what's in this right here. And check it out. Uh these envelopes like other oh, yeah, i thought they were like in. coin books or something let's see oh they got pictures and things in there so these might end up having something in there let's open a few more of these cards up there's a plaque we'll give them that back i'm gonna open like three cards to see if i could pull anything out like a money or a gift card fingers crossed we can that's a high school graduation thing i recognize it because it's like the same kind of logo that was on mine Let's pull out, these are pictures actually, aren't they? Yeah. Most of them are pictures, so we will give those back. Along with some tools, staples, and some random books and things like that. We're digging into that a little bit further. I found two more Game Boy games. We have Tetris and Miss Pac-Man. And this, I honestly have no idea what it is. Pokemon Pinball? But it doesn't look like any cartridge I've ever seen. They unfortunately stuck a piece of tape on it, which kind of wore off. So now there's just the sticky residue left behind. But I'm sure if somebody wanted to restore it, they could. I know Pokemon stuff's usually worth a lot, and I've never seen this. So it's either very irrelevant or very, very rare and worth a good amount of money. Hopefully, it's the latter. This looks like more of what you were saying, what the painters lay on the ground so they don't get paint everywhere. This is just, uh, looks like straight garbage. I'm just going to throw it over there. A shop vac and two cooler. Anything in the kitty litter thing? That's unfortunately empty, so we're gonna put that over here. But let's open up the coolers and then get into the final tote. By the way, did I find out there's a nice shop vac there? Yes. All right, this feels empty. Oh no, there's some rain boots in it. That's okay. That's just random, as you know what? Set that over here. Let's go to this one here. Well, I didn't expect that to come off like that. This is. Some type of suit, a Jean Paul Germain suit. Uh, and another one, and another one. So three of the same suit. So on this side, we got another set of golf clubs. It says like Hubert Sheen or something like that on there. Not 100% sure. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments what we got there. So I completely forgot about this stuff in here. We're gonna look at it in a second. First, let's move the shot back and get into this black and yellow tote here. The only tote that we could see from the door when we bought it, so. Let's see what was in this one. What's your guess? Cool stuff. Cool stuff, man. Looks more like tool stuff. I guess it kind of rhymes. Yeah. A long extension cord right there. Uh, lunch box there, tool bags maybe. I see Ryobi on it. Uh, tool stuff, tool stuff. Let's look in the yellow tote inside. Oh, this one's really light. That one's got an extension cord. Look down there, there's some kind of tool. I don't even know what that thing is, but some type of tool there. We'll box that one back up. And then over here, this is about the end of the unit. We got the light here, a bunch of sand blocks. Use the, you know, sand stuff down. Some VHSs, uh, a nice Pepsi drink container. Anything under it. Well, there's a little bit of stuff in there. Let's see what it is. A lantern, 
What's in this little case right here? Nothing's in there that I can feel. No. A net, a lock. Now let's see what's in this thing hidden in the back of the unit. Ugh. They have something wrapped up there. We noticed last time. And now we can kind of see, it looks like a picture or something, doesn't it? Uh, it's yeah. like elastic bands on it instead of tape, which is kind of weird. They're just giant rubber bands. Let's just take them off and see, is it? Or is it part of the bed? Whoa, that almost smashed my toe, huh? Yeah. Why'd you touch my rib? Uh, because I was pushing <laughs> myself away. It almost got me. Oh, okay. Can you bring the light over here? It looks like it's, yeah, unfortunately mirror? it's just part of the bed. No, it's not even a mirror. It's just part of the bed, literally. Okay. That sucks. That. So let's see, this looks like a dresser though. So let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, it's like a gun cabinet. Cool. But unfortunately, there's no guns in it. So nothing in there, but man, wasn't this a crazy storage unit? Don't lie, if you made it to the end, leave a comment saying, most amazing thing I've ever seen. And until next time, Peace out.